Hey guys, in today's video we'll be mastering the pull up. Okay, put me down now. What's up guys? Today's video was inspired by a few comments that I got on an Instagram story where I was working out on the deck with my dad and my sister and my sister was punching out some pull-ups and a few people asked, oh how did she do that? So today I'm going to go through a few tips on how you can master the pull-up. Okay, so before we even attempt any sort of pull-up, it's important that we're able to hang from the bar. Unfortunately we don't have a bar, we've just got a balcony, but that'll do for now. What we're going to do is just jump up and hang from the bar in a dead hang position. It's good if you can hold it for 20 to 30 seconds to start off with. And then we'll start going into some scapular pull-ups, which is good for getting control of the scapulars, which are our shoulder blade muscles, shoulder blade bones. So the first technique we're going to use is called uh, eccentric pull-ups or negatives, as some people like to call them. Essentially what we're doing is we're getting ourselves up to the top and we're lowering ourselves slowly down full range of motion to the bottom in a dead hang position. Okay, it's always a lot easier to move in the direction that gravity is acting rather than against it. So we don't have to produce as much force by lowering ourselves than we do to pull ourselves up. So it's a good option for people who don't have that strength yet to pull themselves up. The next technique we can use are called isometric pull-ups um, or pause reps. This way we can develop our strength by holding ourselves in one position for an extended period of time. We can do this at multiple positions within the pull-up. We can hold at the top, in the middle and also at the bottom. A third technique we can use is using assistance. So either with a band or if you've got a partner, what we're doing is we can still do the full range of motion of the lift without lifting our whole body weight. And lastly, it's important to remember you need to do this consistently and often. Just like with any skill, if you wanted to learn how to play the piano, you wouldn't just play it once a week. You know, it's something that you've got to do regularly because the movement is a skill in itself and we need to teach the brain how to connect with the muscles in order to produce force optimally the right direction and over time will get a lot easier so thanks for watching stay tuned for the next one 